We're going to install MicroPython on an ESP8266. Python is a popular programming language and a good set of its features can be used on the ESP device. To start with, you're going to need to go to the MicroPython website and download the current binary version of MicroPython. At the time I was writing this, it was version 1.87. Once you've downloaded your binary file, or .bin file, you're then going to need a flash tool to program the ESP8266 with your binary image. The binary flash tool that I used was the Node MCU flasher. To use the Node MCU flasher, you will need to select your binary file, and then on the operations tab, you'll need to hit the flash button to program your Node MCU or ESP8266 module. Once it's complete, you'll be shown a little green icon and then you can proceed to try to communicate with the ESP8266. The first test you can do is if you have the Arduino suite to open up the serial monitor on the board rate of 115200 and then reboot the ESP8266 and you should see a familiar Python prompt. Also, by default, the ESP8266 will now be in access point mode, broadcasting with the default SSID of MicroPython hyphen and then part of the MAC address for your device. You can also find the gateway by doing an IP config on your client. Now if we want to do some more with our MicroPython installation, the serial monitor for the Arduino suite is not quite good enough, so we're going to install PuTTY. Once you have PuTTY installed, you can see that you're able to open a communications port and do some basic arithmetic. In this case, we set A equals 5 and B equals 6, with the product being 30. For more information on how to install MicroPython, you can visit the MicroPython's organisation on the following link.